we will now take a look at least common measure right the purpose of doing these two units in quick succession is to push us towards the topic of fraction representation of fraction and resolution and so on and so forth basically to deal with fractions in the context of algebraic expressions in which case you have to come to the lowest terms and so on and so forth and it is very important for us to have an understanding of what LCM, HCF and all these terms are right. So, the, L, the definition of LCM of simple expression is along the same lines as what it is for the uh, in the case of arithmetic and let us actually take a look at it by so looking at a problem a a square a cube a to the power of 5 a to the power of 7 these are four algebraic terms or we call we can also call them as simple expressions we will stick with terms and expressions as two dif distinct things these are algebraic terms and expressions have several terms interlinked with uh, mathematical operations between them. So, while taking the LCM or determining the LCM of algebraic terms right we first find the LCM of the coefficients of all terms it is basically a product of these LCM of numeric coefficients ok. So, if you had 3 x and 4 x square the LCM of the numeric coefficient is 12 that is what we this, sta this statement means right is simply is the product of ok that makes it less ambiguous right that makes it clear right step number 1 look at the coefficients and determine the LCM of the coefficients and that is the first uh, part that you are interested in. For each of the literals in the various algebraic expression find out the lowest power of the literal that is divisible by each of the powers of that literal in the given algebraic terms. This statement is long perhaps confusing it is not intended to, be, intended to be confusing the problem is sometimes when you try to define very simple things unambiguously in English the definition looks longish, but what is being said is very simple. Find out the lowest power of A that is divisible by each of these literals each of these powers right the lowest power of a that is divisible by each one of them is simply a power 7 right. So, a power 7 by a square is a power 5 a power 7 by a cube is a 4 a power 5 by a power 7 by a power 5 is a square and a power 7 by a power 7 is 1 
Is that clear? So a power 7 happens to be the lowest power of that, that literal. It's the lowest power of a that is divisible by each of the powers of a occurring in those algebraic terms. That's all this says. So if this is very confusing, ignore it. Focus on the concept. Once you get this, the product of all the product of these things form the LCM. Is that clear? So what we will do now is we will solve a few examples and understand the process of determining the LCM of algebraic terms. Okay? 